Okay, so hello fellow Bang Night Collectors, this is Glenn, and today we are going to look at some New Zealand Bank Notes. So these are the previous series that we used before 45 and 10, 2015, and for the average denominations, 2016. So, better first thing before we get into detail, you'll notice that the new series and the old series are pretty much the same in design. Uh, the colours the same. Uh, just the security features are pretty much a bit different. So they have uh, this five dollar has uh, Mount Cook, has uh, Sir Edmund Hillary and on the back. We have the yellow eyed penguin, so the ho ho. Then we have oh, down the bottom we have. Um, the Bulbina Rosie, so Rose Lily, oh, and the Rose Lily, with yellow flower heads, so that's that one, and this plant, I'm not able to actually identify, maybe it's, but this is actually uh, Campbell Island, so these will probably be endemic species to Campbell Island, and so they're actually pretty much similar to these previous series, you know, like Australia has updated the banknotes but didn't change any of the people on it. But this one was first issued in 1999. So if we look at the serial numbers, you can see this one's 09, so 2009. And uh, this one's a bit circulated. I actually got all these in circulation when I went to New Zealand in 2014, I think. Hmm, quite a while ago. So I haven't been there using the new banknotes. And then here we have our Ferguson's tractor. Um, you, if you want to buy these in this condition, you're probably looking at uh, probably 7 or $8 in this circulated. Uncirculated, probably about 15 you'll be getting now because they're actually on the secondary market. You can't really get them in circulation for higher grades banknotes. Then we have the $10 one. This is a beautiful blue banknote. Oh, look at that. And it has a Kate Shepherd on it. I actually quite like this banknote. It's actually very, a very good design. And she actually fought for women's suffrage. And the actual flower is uh, the same as the one on the current banknotes, but it's actually a lot better. That design is actually better than the current one. So I don't know what to go with that. But, you know, countries... Um, they replace crappy design banknotes with uh, better ones and they also do the reverse. Um, so this is a white camellia, uh, symbol for universal suffrage that she actually advocated for. And you can see it has a, a window, it has uh, Queen Elizabeth II. And... It has the silver fern, as well as in the background the silver fern, map of New Zealand. Uh, security window's got 10. No security threads, because it's a bit harder. This one's dated 07, so 2007. And on the back, we have the Royal, Wolf Royal. Or, or in English, it's just the Blue Duck. And as you can see, they've actually made it blue. I actually saw these in New Zealand, actually quite a beautiful bird. And in the background, we actually have uh, some silver ferns. And uh, it's very interesting to look up these ducks. They're endemic to New Zealand, so they only live in New Zealand. And they pretty much live in uh, alpine regions. So for this banknote, uh, in this condition uncirculated, probably look like 20 thirty dollars um depending on the date um if you want it circulated probably ten to fifteen dollars uh depending on the grade if it's really circulated then it's really only face value so just spend it they're actually not a rare banknote then we had the twenty dollar banknote a green one so in australia green banknotes a hundred dollars so don't get confused with them and as you can see it actually has uh queen elizabeth ii on it so that, that's been the same. The first issue of banknotes actually ha had Queen Elizabeth on all of them. Um, 
Then we have the Parliament Building of New Zealand. So the watermark is Queen Elizabeth II as well. And uh, the Silver Fern on the background, Map of New Zealand. So you get the drift about the, the standard denomination design for all denominations of this time. So this one's dated 2006. And then on the back we have the Koiaria. Gee, I can't even say that. No, it's a, I think it's a New Zealand falcon. Yeah, the scientific name is Falco Nova Zealandi Day. So in English it would just be the New Zealand falcon. And then we have Mount Tapawenuku and uh, the falcon flying around. It looks like it's actually coming down to actually get some prey. And then we have the rock daisy. So the rock daisy there, that's a Pachystegia insignis. And that one is, it's endemic to New Zealand, probably the alpine regions. And then we have uh, the clouds in the background. So it's actually, it's not as good as the $10, but it's actually quite good. Um, the newer $20 note is actually a lot better than this one. So, uh, depending on the denomination, so the $10 of this series is better than the older, newer series, but the $20 is actually not as good. And then we have the $50. So, there is a $100, but I actually do not have it. Oh, oh, the values. So, for an uncirculated one of these, you're probably looking at about $40 to $50. Um, for a circulated one, well, like grades, just twenty dollars, and then uh, probably, probably extremely fine. You're probably looking at it, probably about thirty dollars. So, you know, the twenty and fifty are actually a lot harder to get because not that many people sell. Fifty dollars are actually harder to sell, and this one is dated two thousand and seven. And this one is a Sir Aru Ep. Apirana, Apirana Ngaka, Ngata. See, I'm not too familiar with actually pronouncing Maori names, so that's where I get caught up. Cantonese is actually a lot easier for me to pronounce now, but at the start it was hard. Apirana, Apirana Ngagata. And a fun fact, um, New Zealand issued decimal banknotes in 1967, but they didn't actually issue a fifty dollar to nineteen eighty three, and the hundred dollar was actually in circulation. But that was also a fifty pound banknote beforehand, so a lot more value than what Australia actually did uh, issue. They issued a ten pound, so uh, it, it was part of the Maori resistance, which uh, after the treaty. Why Taggy actually had a bit of problem with cooperation, uh, not cooperation, probably subjugation. Um, and here we have um, Porurangi Meeting House in New Zealand's North Island near Rotorua, and. Uh, on the back, so the background of plants are actually the blue wattle or kokako. Kokako. Hmm. Okay, sorry, that's the actual bird on the background. God, I read that wrong. Um. Damn, I feel like a fool. Ah, here you go, the kokako. Or the blue wattle crow. So it's actually a type of crow. And. Here we have in the background is a Puerirua National Forest Park on North Island. Puerirua, and it's a seventy-five thousand hectare park. They probably have the the large um. What's those large native plants? I can't remember anyway. There we have, uh, looks like a type of eucalypt, but it could be something in another genus. 
I would say another plant endemic to New Zealand. So that's actually a very expensive bang note. It has a one fold. That's about it. The rest of the bang note is quite nice. So in this condition, you're probably looking at probably about $70. Uh, if you want one uncirculated, uh, then you're probably talking about probably $100, I would say. And if it has a lot more damage than this, uh, then you're talking about face value. Because as I said, these are actually a lot harder to sell than um, the other denominations because people, it's really just a lot of money for people to invest. And as you can see with this banknote, the older banknote, to me is actually a lot better because of the colour variation. But if you look on the reverse, the actual bird is actually a lot better. This one has nice, beautiful blue mushrooms. You can see the different colour variations in the actual bird. So it's nice. So anyway, that is my review of New Zealand's older banknotes. Still legal tender, but you probably will not see them in circulation anytime soon. So anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, have an awesome banknote collecting time. Thank you and bye-bye.